So there is no string reverse function built into JavaScript, but in this tutorial, we'll look at a couple of ways that you can actually reverse a string using some other JavaScript techniques. Hi, this is James from Junior Developer Central and welcome to JavaScript Snippets, a series of tutorials where we're looking at some of the important things that you need to do with JavaScript as a junior developer. If you have a second, don't forget to subscribe to support the channel below and so you get updates on new tutorials. So reversing a string in JavaScript isn't something that you're going to need to do on a day-to-day -day basis within a junior developer role, but it is something that gets asked at interviews and it is handy to know because of some of the techniques that we'll use to do it. So as we've already said, there's no built-in string reverse function. So if we try and recall a reverse function on our string, when we run the code, we'll just get an error saying that the function doesn't exist. However, what you can do is actually call a reverse function on an array. So if we were to do something like this, just call it on a blank array, you can see we don't get the error. And if we had some numbers in that array, for example, you can see when the code runs, the reverse function does what it's, the name suggests and reverses the numbers in the array. So of course, for our example, if we had some letters in there, so say we had, instead of those numbers, we had T, H, and E, you can see the result of that is that those letters are reversed. So if we could find a way of converting our string into an array, we could then call the reverse function on top of that to actually reverse the characters that are in the string. Well, there is quite an easy way to do this, and we can call a function on top of our string to convert it into an array. And we've seen this in some of the other JavaScript snippet tutorials. So let's create another variable, and we'll just call that new string. And the result of that will be string.split. And if we just save that and log that out to the console, and we'll just remove the reverse function just for the moment there, you can see we get the whole string into an array, but we actually want all of the individual items in there. So if we just pass in an empty string into the split function, you can see that the string has been split into an array, and each item in the uh, array is one of those letters that's from the string. And we can then actually go and call the reverse function onto that string to get the same result as we had before when we just had those single characters in our console.log. The problem is now we don't really want to be working with our arrays like this because we to actually print out the string again we'd need to reconstruct it and what we can actually do is call the join function after reverse so we can just chain it on like this and again if we pass in a blank string so there's no separator that we're joining on you can see we get our original string of the quick brown fox repeated on the console but now it's been reversed so we could probably neaten this up by just putting this all into one line and possibly even split that onto different lines just so it's easier to read as well. And of course, we could wrap this in a function if we wanted to reuse it in other parts of our code too. So that's probably the easiest and the probably the most common way that you would solve this problem is using split, reverse, and join to reconstruct the original string. But sometimes in interview questions and coding challenges, they'll ask you to do this kind of solution, but without using the built-in reverse function. So the way to approach this without using a the built and reverse function is to use a for loop. So let's have a look at how to do that now. So if you do get asked this on a, an interview question, you'll have an idea of how to solve it. So let's just create a new variable here and we'll just use the let keyword to declare our variable because we want to, we're going to assign to it multiple times. So we'll say we've got a new string and we'll just say it's blank at the moment. The next thing to do is to set up our for loop. So we'll say for let i be equal to the original string's length and we'll just take one away from that simply because the length will be greater than the array that we want to use and then we'll keep that for loop going until or whilst i is bigger than or larger than zero and we're going to subtract one from i each time that the for loop runs. So what we're going to do each time the for loop uh, iterates and goes round is we're going to say that the new string variable is going to be the same as new string but each time we're going to add on the character that's in the original string at position i. So we're going to start at the end of the string and work our way backwards adding each character to the new string each time. And if we save that and run that now you can see the output from our code is exactly the same. We've still got the, the quick brown fox reversed as it was before using that reverse function. Okay, so that's a handy little tip if you do get the, asked this on an interview question and you're not allowed to use the reverse function when splitting your string up into an array. So that's it for this snippet. I hope you found that useful. Don't forget before you go to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any updates and I'll see you next time.